Hi guys, welcome to the channel. I'm Mick. I'm Ben. And together we are building our very own camper van, Foxy, the 2017 Renault Master. Please subscribe guys, that would be champion. Off to B&Q for more supplies. We've seen how everybody's using this recycled plastic bottles stuff for insulation, so uh -huh. on the bandwagon we go. I hope this background music and B&Q doesn't interfere with any copyright situations. So. I'll just talk over the top of it, that'll probably do the trick. There seems to be a lot of putting stuff in and taking stuff out of vans at the moment. Morning chaps, another day. Uh, more stuff to do on the van. I'm not quite sure what we're going to do today, but last night before I went to bed, I did a little experiment with some uh, £1.50 silicon to see if it would stick down the uh, wood to the floor. And it has stuck it down. Have a look at this. So yeah, it actually took quite a bit of pulling to get it off. So I'm really happy with that. And what I used was uh, no-nonsense silicon from Screwfix, which I'm pretty sure was under two quid when I bought it last year. And I've, and I've still got some in the garage, so I'm going to use that, what I've got. But when I've just looked up the price now, it's about £4.40. I cannot believe it. It is surely doubled in price. Just ridiculous. Right, we've got some holes in the floor which need filling in obviously before we put the uh, main floor in so i'm just uh they're, they're sticking up and are a bit sharp so i'm just grinding them down and making a nice clean surface so i can fill it in with the uh, metal stick or whatever it's called and then give it a little bit of a spray paint not too mental and then we can start putting the floor on right let's crack on earphones eye protection got ourselves some of this steel stick i believe it's called so i'm going to fill in all the holes with it now it's apparently it sets as tough as steel uh and then i'm going to spray paint over the top just to stop any rust coming through the floor uh yeah see how that goes uh. i'm just falling over in the van i've got these uh little anchor points that were in the floor that i tried to get out and some of them i couldn't get out and i'm just wondering what to do with them because i did initially screw them back in so uh, they do go all the way to the floor, through the floor. So when you look through them, you can uh, see the light. So what do you think I should do with them? Fill them in or just leave them screwed in or what? I don't know. So I've been using this stuff. Uh, one tip, don't mix too much together because it's just good set in my fingers basically and uh, before I had a chance to get it all in so I've just had to waste some and it's too expensive to waste but this is the stuff I did earlier and that has set like rock <laughs> no so it seems like it's good stuff but expensive and don't mix it too much at the same time so I've grinded all this off I've uh, filled the holes in with the uh, that metal stick thing so now I'm going to do a little bit of a spray I'm not going to bother smoothing all this down because it's going to be boxed in anywhere so I'm just going to give it its best coat I've got plenty of ventilation so I'll put a little mask on as well see how it goes eh? See where it dries like. It's amazing that the anti-rust spray paint that I bought is actually exactly the same colour as the van. Well I'm just trying to cut down all the uh, the lats I'm going to call them which go across the uh, floor which are going to keep the uh, floor insulation in place. I've got my saws out, I've got my cross cut saw, I've got my rip saw. I've got all the gear you know. <laughs> all the gear and no idea. And it started raining. Typical, isn't it? Uh, well, what I've done is I've bought this. It's CLS timber. 
which is slightly too big. So I'm going to have to cut it down to the uh, same size as this stuff, which is it says 50 mil, but when I measured it, it's 48 mil. Uh, so yeah, there's a little bit left on this, but it was only three pound 15 a lead which is miles cheaper than anything else so i'm going to use that i use it to build the pub so and that's still standing over after two and a half years so yeah i think i'll be all right so we've decided to go across crossways that fits in just nice 69 inches apparently there, as you can see, and by the time I put the uh, adhesive on the bottom, that'll raise it up just a little bit more, and that'll be nice and flush with the floor. I'm going to do 16 inches, I think, every 16 inches. So we'll get them ones cut out first, and uh, Bob's your uncle, and uh, Sally's your auntie. Well, that's it we're done for today we've got the floor just about prepared it's not screwed down we're not going to screw it down actually we're just going to stick it down because screwing it down would be stupid after we've just filled in all of yours but, uh, yeah this is what it looks like at the moment back on it day off tomorrow proper work to do tomorrow photography work and uh, coffee with the boys but um yeah moving on so before we put the floor down and glue it all down, I'm just going to put some of the sound deadening on here. And I think then I'm going to put some with the sun to my eyes. And then I'm going to put some of the uh, insulation on top of it. And then it's going to be boxed in. So that should be okay, I think. Right, we're ready to put the first bit of flooring, subflooring in, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and I'm using this stuff, which is the CLS, as you've seen earlier. Uh, I'm just using normal silicon, which is the cheapest I've found is actually about £2.15 now from tool station. Two quid, £2.15 or something. But this is all stuff that I already have anyway, so I'm just going to use that. Right, so first piece in. See how it goes. It's what we want, oozy goozy. Seems good to me. Well, we weren't going to do any work today on the van, but we have. We've ended up doing about three hours or so, probably a little bit more. I want to go out for tea, but Brenda won't let me. <laughs> I only want a par more, if you know what one of them is. Anyway, I've got the floor stuck down. We've got the floor stuck down. It was a bit of a pain in the backside, really, because the floor is a bit like this. Uh, you know, dents and dings all over the place and, and the wood won't be exactly straight either. Uh, just the way it grows. <laughs> anyway, right, that's uh, me lot for now. Uh, I'll see what tomorrow brings. Uh. So it's the next morning and I've been out on a photography job, so that's took up some of the day. Uh, it's two o'clock in the afternoon now, so so we'll be running out of time to get the floor finished but we've got all of tomorrow i don't have any jobs in for tomorrow so uh i think it's all stuck down nicely i've been out driving in it and it wasn't jumping about so it must be okay yeah that's plenty stuck down that no bother so i just need to cut the foam out now uh, and hopefully it doesn't fly down the street because it's blown a ghoulie up here in the northeast today 
that's the stuff we're going to be using. It was kindly donated by Chris and Moya, our lovely friends. Uh, it's a lot thicker than I've seen most people use. Um, it's 50 mil, but you don't look a gift horse in the mouth, do you? <laughs> It'll be nice and warm, lovely warm floor. I think Chiefy Boy is coming to give us a hand. Oh yeah, are you going to give me a hand? Don't run away. I knew all the gaps in the floor were 16 inch, so we just cut out some 16 inch strips and then we thought we'd just uh, cut the widths to measure. Right, Brenda, come on, try the first piece in. You can have the glory. Wow, snug as a bug in a rug. Are you Very happy? snug. Are you happy with that? Yeah. My turn to have a go now. Got a little bit of a gap here. That's not a bit of foam worn for the. It looks like I've managed to cut the wood out at the right size. That seems all all right. Right, that's the first row in now. It's looking very cosy. Does it feel warm? <laughs> <laughs> well, apart from this hurricane water blow <laughs> here in the northeast. So I've mainly been using the. Uh, Stanley knife, there it is. Stanley knife to go along and then just snapping it and cutting along from the other side. But these little bits on the edge, I find it's easier just to use a saw. It's just getting a nice clean edge, but as you can see, it gets a bit snowy. <laughs> right, try it in. Nah. <laughs> If I put my vast weight on, I'm sure it will do it. Oh! That left the treat. There you go, it's in. Well, it wouldn't go in, you take a bit off and then it's too short. It's because it's on a bit of an angle. I'm sure it'll be fine. Deeper down there. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think Chiefy Boy wants to walk, do you, Chiefy? Oh, kiss, kiss. <laughs> Well, we thought we had the system cracked and then uh, cut these little ones out to go in here and... Remembered they were bigger. Hey ho. <laughs> Alright, we're just measuring and like I mentioned the other day, I'm uh, working in centimetres and if it chooses me, I'm working in inches. It's basically whichever one's closest so this one, I've got 11 inches, and this one, I've got 26 centimetres. <laughs> so yeah, it's whichever comes closest to the, to the main point, so it works for me. So I've been wondering what to do about these holes in the floor where I took out the anchor points. Well, I think I'm just going to silicon round them and screw the bolts back in. Seems like the best bet to me. And the ones that already have them in, I'm just going to silicon around them because I can't take them out because the threads are broken. There you go. I'm sure there'll be nothing gets through that now. All right, this is the last full piece going in. Brenda put the first one in. Oh, apart from, have you spotted the deliberate mistake? There's one there. <laughs> so it wasn't the last one. No, you're rubbish. Look at your hair, you're like a shaggy dog. <laughs> so it's just these fiddly bits now. I've got one there, I've got one there. I've got one there and of course the other side. So I'm just deciding what to do either wing it or stick some paper in and make a template which is probably the best idea so i've made a template to fit in the corner uh, so i'm just going to cut this out and sew it out hopefully but i know i've cut it a little bit short there so i'll put a little arrow on there to remind me and a little bit short there so i'll bring that round a bit further i'm going to try it with a jigsaw because it looks a little bit fiddly so i should be trying to curve first 
I'm not keen on this stupid button idea. It's the toughest thing I've ever seen in my life. Which piece is it? <laughs> Let's try it, huh? Wish me luck. Won't go that way. Is good enough for me. A little bit, could have done a little bit better there, but not a bit of silicone one side out of that. And it's in and it's never coming out. Right, it's got to the time where we've we finally filled all the gaps in and uh, we're going to cover it with a silver foil, get rid of any nooks and crannies. There's a, there's a couple of bits like this. I don't know whether, do you want to come in and have a look, Brent? Couple of bits there. I'm not too sure about whether I need to put some filler in there or something. So I'm going to leave them for now. But I'm going to go along all the rest of them with a silver foil. So I'll get it to lend it this. I can use some panting. Who's panting? <laughs> Have you had a good run around, chiefy boy? Yeah. <laughs> Nicely finished. Oh, I could be some time getting this off, so I'll pause it. <laughs> so I couldn't find the end, but uh, Brenda's finally found it. And there's our little Jenny in the background. Jenny? <laughs> you love being called Jenny. How <laughs> Jen in the uh, background there who started making a camper van when was it? Two years ago? What was that yeah. face you've done? Sad Do face. your sad face again. Because <laughs> <laughs> Daddy didn't have time to help then. But Rubbish. once I finish this one, then maybe we can start a new one. I'm trying to keep it as straight as I can. I'll overlap the edge of it. Now we went for the four inch stuff because we've been watching people do it with the two inch stuff. That's about 100 millimetres, if you're wondering. Uh, and they were putting two lots on anyway, so I thought, well, we might as well buy the, the wider stuff. No, it's not very even, but it's still a good seal. You got the roller. You what? The roller. Do we need a roller? I don't think we need a roller to do this, do we? Hmm. Right, we've got 50 metres of it on the roll, so I reckon 50 metres is easy enough to do the floor and we've got a spare one as well because uh, we'll, obviously there'll be loads more to do as well so right I'm going to get on with that while Brenda goes and makes some pinacoli yeah <laughs> if you're wondering why Brenda hasn't featured much in this video it's because she's got a poorly back and shouldn't be doing what she's doing now Right, that's me done for the day. It's uh, it's getting on. <laughs> it's dark. I don't know whether you can see it on the uh, camera, but yeah, it's got dark, so it must be late. And I'm a bit pooped. Uh, 
almost finished the floor. A couple of little bits to do. A little bit of taping up. I want to fill in around the edges where the wheel arch is just before I tape it up, just in case it gets drafty while we're in bed. We wouldn't want that, would we? So, uh, yeah, that'll do for now, and I'll be back to finish it up tomorrow. So I added a little bit of an extension on because I forgot that the kitchen was coming over the doorway. Right, there's one little bit left and that is the floor done. It's been a bit of a pain in the bum, I would say. But do you want to say that about every job? Uh, I think it's turned out all right though. What do you think, Fred? Yeah, it's good. It's good. Looking good. It's like using gold leaf, this stuff. It's horrible, horrible stuff. I'm sure some people find it relaxing. But I don't. <laughs> Alright, that's it. Hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have, give us a thumbs up, don't forget. And please subscribe, that would be wonderful. And we'll be back in the next video where we could be putting the roof vent in. But I don't know. Anyway, we'll catch you next time. Bye-bye now.